Hello dreamers, how are you doing? This is not a regular vlog. In this video, I'm gonna talk about your negative comments. I'm gonna reply to the negative feedback that I've been getting from the last couple of days on the vlogs that I've been posting. And I'm gonna give some tips and tricks through which you can save some money in the European travel. Also, I'm gonna tell you the mistakes that I did during this travel so that you don't do those mistakes and your trip goes with a lot of ease. So stay tuned. Good morning everybody. So it's uh, day three. We have to go from uh, Prague to Vienna today. So before we do our packing, uh, let me go for the breakfast. Prague uh, we booked an Uber but it took like ages to come uh, we had to catch the bus so we rushed towards the metro station I couldn't shoot all of it because we were in a hurry and uh, we finally reached the bus stop just in time and one minute after we reached the bus started so we were really lucky to catch that bus and now we are in Vienna because this is my first time in Vienna and hers as well we are really really excited about the trip and really looking forward to spending a really great time in Vienna. As soon as I entered the hotel in Vienna, I uploaded my video, the second vlog, A Day in Prague. But in that video, I saw a few negative comments. So I decided that I would address those negative comments in this video. Marriage ruined it for you, dude. These vlogs of yours have put a question mark on what is called a honeymoon. Right, this was the comment actually which I felt was a bit harsh. Now, if I and my wife don't have problem with shooting the videos that I've that I'm doing you know in recording everything that we are doing why do people have problems if you think that it's kind of a personal thing that I'm sharing on a public platform then let me tell you that in a day they are like 24 hours and 60 minutes which means that they are overall 1400 minutes out of which I'm uploading less than 10 minutes of uh, you know the time what we are spending here which means which is not even one percent of it right so i am deciding what i'm uploading i'm not uploading each and every moment i'm not you know i'm we're living our moment here we're living a life here it's just that i'm uploading a very small part of it it's a way for me to connect with you guys and it's a way for me to look back you know after five years down the line to our trip it will be a great way after that you said that you seem to be serving a punishment it might be a punishment for you dude it might be punishment for someone who doesn't enjoy doing it but because I love doing it it's not a punishment it's a treat for me it's a pleasure that I'm shooting all of it and I'm then I'm uploading it to people who actually love it there are people a lot of them who actually love it they have, I'm definitely getting some lot of positive comments as well so I don't agree with you again and for heaven's sake drop that irritating accent I don't know which accent you're talking about it might be that you're feeling that my accent is a bit different uh, in these videos but it's not the way I'm talking the way I usually do so forget it okay I think I paid too much attention to this uh, one comment moving on someone said that I think 
you have totally deleted this channel. It's okay if you don't find time to post videos related to immigration. All of those videos were really useful and folks can go through it. If you wanted to post other videos, you could still create a different channel like Dream Vacation or Dream Cruise or Dream Places and post it and post your videos under it. All right, so I agree with this point. This is a good suggestion. I would definitely think of creating a new channel so that I can upload those new videos in that particular channel, all those vlogs in the particular channel. But that would be sometime in the future, down the line. Okay, the other comment. You can't, what kind of stupidity is going on, man? You started all of this, all this for your channel. I don't know what's happening, what's the purpose and what's happening. Okay, the purpose. The purpose is to stay connected with my subscribers. It's definitely hard to stay connected when uh, you are on a vacation and the only way to stay connected is uh, you know making regular videos and through all of those you know famous youtubers i watch a lot of videos uh, you know casey neistat's the peter mckinnon's all of those people say that it's very important to stay connected to your subscribers it's very important to make a connect you know a direct connect to your to the heart of your subscribers now I know that some of you don't like these videos and I and that's totally fine. So that is the reason that I've decided that I won't upload the daily videos and that is the reason that you guys have noticed that I missed the uh, you know yesterday's vlog. I'm in Vienna at the moment and I will be here for 2-3 days. So I would be shooting you know 2 3 days videos and I'll be clubbing all of those videos in one vlog. Then we'll go to another city and then I'll make one video only for the next particular city. So this is it. I think I paid a lot of attention to the negative comments. You know, some might say that, you know, ignore the negativities and uh, do what you are doing. And that's what I want to do that, you know, I want to do what I love to do. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. Now time for some tips. Number one, booking the flight. There's a website named as uh, skyscanner.com. It's a beautiful website just like a Trivago of uh, flights it actually shows you the quote from different websites all over the world and you can save a lot of money if you book your flights through that website it will actually direct you to make my trip you know probably some uh, other budgetair.com or some other um, different websites number two hotels definitely you can go to Trivago so that you can find the best deals uh, for hotels if you're going to uh, book the hotels in a different city in a different country Okay, moving on. Should you actually go to a travel agency to book your uh, your package, your travel packages, or should you book it on your own? Again, you know me very well. I do it on my own because I save a lot of money doing this. So some of my friends actually, so some of my friends actually visited uh, these cities a few days back, actually a few months back, and they got through some packages through Yatra.com or MakeMyTrip.com. But uh, what I did was I actually you know got the itinerary from them and I made my own budget same hotels same itinerary same number of days I actually booked all the hotels all my flights by my own of course the visa on my own as well and I ended up saving around 75 to 80 thousand rupees with the same hotels same itinerary same places so definitely you can save a lot of money if you decide to go by yourself applying the schengen visa is damn easy it's just that you have to um, get your hotels and your bookings of, of your flights before you actually go to the visa and most of them are non-refundable but no need to worry about that you definitely get a visa i have it's very rare that i've heard that you know, Anybody with the right documentation has got his or her visa rejected. Right, another tip, luggage. As you saw that I actually lost my luggage when I was traveling uh, to Prague. You should definitely have an extra jacket in your cabin luggage. Um, you should definitely have some essentials in your cabin baggage. You should make sure that if in case your luggage gets, gets lost, you don't get handicapped. So. If you're traveling to a colder place you should have your you know probably your gloves your caps uh, in your cabin luggage so that if your luggage gets lost in that case it won't hamper your trip too much the other point was about you know local traveling 
have some time in your hands just like we booked our cab in uh, Prague from a hotel to the uh, bus stop but the cab actually took you know like ages to come so we had to rush we had to run uh, to our uh, you know to the metro station to get the tram or you know or the metro and then probably we reached the bus stop somehow so that was something which can be avoided if you have some time in hand that, that's a very basic tip right so those were a few tips that can help you save some money and plan your travel with a lot of ease so thank you guys for watching this video i will upload two more videos for this vlog series uh, one would be for the complete three days in vienna and the second would be for the next two days in the other city and traveling back to India. So thank you guys for watching this video. You can follow me on Instagram as well. My Instagram handle is dreamabroad.mylife. And also if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe it right now.